Oh, you can't see it. She's not coming in. Well, we got four minutes to go. The market will be open in four minutes. Some wanderers already here. But they won't let them buy them until nine. They got strict rules. But they're coming in. That's a good thing. And that's Bowser. And a shirt to go with it. She's 10 weeks. Oh my goodness. See, I'm just a little teeny baby. This is what happens when your kids leave. You get you get puppies. <laughs> What's See, her I'm name? Lucy. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. Oh, Lucy. How big will Lucy get? About another? Maybe five pounds. Okay. Maybe. She's a whole 1.8 right now. Oh my. She's <laughs> just to help him out. Right. Pretty cool ticket. Got a light on it. Everything. from the market. You remember there used to be a wall right here. It came out about two foot. Stop right there. So you couldn't walk in from the hallway like this. You had to go around here and turn to come into here like this. Well, we took that wall out. And like I said, we took out that whole wall right there. The same place, the sink's going back in the same place. The stove used to be right here. Stove's going over here. Dishwasher is going over here. It'd be a counter, a free, a freestanding counter right here that you can sit around. They had a new bar stools, or the boxes they were in anyway. Refrigerator's uh, moving in the same place. It's just moving over a little bit to the left. Cabinets all through here, and she's not keeping this open. This is going to be cabinets up here, so this will all be open right through here. But there'd be a counter right here with the with the oven and I think there's going to be a big, a small oven over there that she's already got. There's the old dishwasher that's going in. No, what is that? That's the uh, stove. It's just under wraps and keys. Got to put new floor in, you know, they're going to put wood floor in here where she used to have that heavy tile. They finally got all the tile up. That was a job. She bought some kind of fancy confection of it made by her buddy at Williams and Sonoma got it for. Breville, I think it's what it's called. It's pretty cool though, but it's kind of heavy. Hey, Boo Boo, what are you doing? When I got home, when the market add more damn knives. I gotta look. I got a whole box of knives from my fishermen about 50, 60 miles from here. I haven't opened them up yet. I had a good day though. I had 40 knives a day. No pruners, no loafers, no hedge trimmers, no mower blades, just knives. <clears throat> what else I got to update you on? Oh yeah, stand by. Uh, <laughs> 
I don't know if you heard my doorbell ring, but look, <laughs> I got another knife. A nice big old handle. But he's had, he's, he told me he's been using one of them pull-through sharpeners. You can see the blades in terrible shape. Yeah, look at them places on it. My Indians, they were upset. Especially the little Indian. She hates strangers. She's about to have a fit with the contractors. Okay. Now, I was going to update you on something. They all named it the uh, minnow. The minnow over here in the yard. The trailer's in the shop. I put the trailer in the shop. Because I knew I wanted to take some trips with it. And being it was built in 1997, I wasn't happy with it. Now I'm less happy with it. I got to spend, a, or I am spending a fair amount more over my budget for that damn trailer. Got to have new shocks or new uh, springs, they call them. I had to have the barns repacked. I had to have a, another roller put in the front or in the back of the trailer, I should say. And a spare tire for it in a rim. But it'll be okay when I get it back. I guess Monday, maybe. They're working on it right now. The lady called me and I took three nitroglycerin pills when she called me. Or after she called me, I should say. But here's what I'm going to do. You know that plan I was telling you about? Running the rail down here like that? Well, that's going by the wayside. My buddy in Florida, Glenn, who used to live up here, he said, take the whole seat right out. But use your same plan. He says, put your board right here. Get it into that bow oil lock on the other side, maybe a 8, 10, 12 inch wide seat, maybe this wide right here, whatever that is. It sits right up here on top of that. That gets all your weight forward. You got all this room back here to use for anything. That's a good damn plan right there. And then I can run the boards all the way down this way to the back and put my yak attack stuff on there. My fish finder will be here today. Well, I, I thought it was, but maybe that's gonna be here Monday, I don't know. I bought a Simrad fish finder. <clears throat> I gotta get a some kind of transducer arm for that. I don't know if I use one of them yak attack things or mount it on the stern. I don't think I'm gonna do it the stern thing, but we'll have to wait until it gets here to take a look at it. Okay, hot suit in here. And you remember from our first spin, I was reaching behind me to run it with the arm, with the tiller. And uh, it was a little bit short. So I bought one of those 12 inch, 14 inch tiller extensions. And that, cause I never tried it. But then when Glenn came up with the idea of moving the whole seat forward, I said, I like the idea. So I took the, uh, 12 or 14 inch tiller extension arm back and I bought a 18 inch one. There you go. Look at that ticky though. And I'll get the job done right there. That's all the news I got. Low tides in about two and a half hours. I may get in a spin, I'm not sure. I want to check with the mumbles man now.